Hi, this is Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer, Go Engineer. Talk about a new feature in SolidWorks 2020. That's the ability to put an alternate position view into a part drawing. Now, I have on screen here an assembly drawing, and for years now, we've been able to put alternate position views into our assembly drawings. Now, here we got, you know, a couple of different views here and an alternate position view here. This is very simple. All I have to do is select a view, pick alternate position view from the uh, toolbar at the top, and I can make a new configuration. Say OK. It jumps right to this assembly, puts me right into the move command, and I can just put this over here someplace and say fine, and it puts in an alternate position view. Also, I can use existing configurations. So I can pick that view, alternate position view, existing configuration. I'll pick handle back. And there we are. It does not leave the view when we use the existing configurations. For a part drawing, we must have existing configurations. Let me show the part here that I'm trying to show. Now this is a sheet metal part. And this is what we're showing here is like a progressive die set. There's no motion here in part file, so you have to have existing configurations. So I've got several configurations here. If I go to step two, we bend up uh, an edge here, and step three, we've bent up another edge, and step four, we bent up this tab at the end, and step five, we've got the, all the bends. I might even want to show the flattened pattern here. To document my progressive bend operation, I will use alternate position views here in each sheet to show what I need to show. Each sheet here will have two sections. One will be the progressive bend operation that I want to show. The other side of the sheet will be the alternate position view showing the next step. So this is step one. You can see the flat pattern all cut out ready to uh, be bent up. And then on the right hand side I've shown that I'm showing step two here as an alternate position view. You see the bent up uh, alternate position view here. I've got the first two bend operations after the flat pattern, and then I want to show this tab bent up. So I'll go ahead and do that here for you. I'll select my view, alternate position view, and note the bottom half of the dialog box that was here for assemblies is not here now for the part file because motion is not an option. So with that bottom portion of the dialog box for assemblies, you can go back to the assembly and move something to a different position. Here we have to have predefined configurations, or this does not work. So I've got uh, step four here, copy the flat, tell the thing OK to show my tab being bent up here. Hope you enjoyed this. This is Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer at Go Engineer.